Hello and uh, welcome to a very stressed start to a vlog. So today I'm trying to take pictures of dragonflies. Let's go! So thanks to the uh, wisdom of the local authorities who have two different uh, systems to run the car parks here, I've had to move my car about a quarter of a mile further away from my intended shooting location uh, because the neither the app nor the machine was working. Come on Ringo, sort yourselves out. And no, it's not that Ringo. So the location is at is just off what's called Par Beach, which is near what's also called Par Dock Pond. Um, it's a good location for wildlife, but it is popular with people such as tourists and other visitors. Um, so today I'm looking to do pictures of dragonflies having scouted this location yesterday let's hope it's not going to be too busy I've come equipped with just the one camera lens set up it's my 55 to 200 mil on the Fuji and um, hopefully that will be close enough to the dragonflies I saw them yesterday flying about perching it's a little bit more busy today did you see that one flew by just now. So really hopeful of getting an image or two. There it goes. So without further ado, let's get the camera out. So there it is in front of me. Just got to wait until it's in the right position. Dragonflies fly very erratically, so it's difficult to predict where they're going and when they're going to do it. But quite often they will return to the same places again and again and again. I can hear a bird singing in the background. Not like that is yesterday I saw a, a grey wagtail, I think. And I can see that the hawthorn trees have got red berries on. There's a lot of uh, flowers on the ivy. So there's potentially things like warblers and stuff in there. There we go. Ooh, I want to get a flight shot. Might be easier for me to sit. Less tiring. So we're on manual focus because that reed sticking up, you know, comes again. There is about roughly level. So camera settings, briefly. Let's pick this up and show you the camera whilst there's no sign of dragonflies. So I'm on 1600 ISO, aperture priority, shutter speeds around 650 of a thousand, which isn't absolutely marvellous. I think I might uh, just go to manual and stick it onto a thousand. Um, that might work. in flight shot. Will it be sharp? Only one way to find out. Can I get those pictures into the computer? Excellent. Well, still quite far away, but that worked. There he is again. I'll tell you what's not the easiest thing to focus manually this camera and the uh, autofocus tracking isn't really that great. Let's see if I can use the autofocus. Quite a lot of the sea aster here as well which is a common plant of uh, these these sort of locations. And there's another one up there that direction. So this is probably going to be a very short vlog because it's me sitting next to a, a stream looking at uh, dragonflies which may or may not appear and there's definitely what will appear will be midges and uh, mosquitoes this is a really accessible location for dragonfly shooting because normally you've got to go to the reserves like brainy common etc which is quite a slog actually it's quite a way to walk it's probably a lot better viewing here but this is right by a car park there's a cafe just over there you can get an ice cream, definitely more civilised, or it would have been if the car parking had sorted itself out. There's also a good place to come for um, flora, 
so it's quite good for wildflowers there's another dragonfly up there um, the dunes area there's also birds which come in migratory birds um, the duck pond itself can often show some quite rare birds particularly in the winter time autumn time which is coming up so I'm really hopeful that I'll get something today and of course these dragonflies are subject to predation by the local birds of prey I think things like hobbies take them certainly smaller birds of prey quite a difficult environment to take them here because it's uh, quite congested the uh, flight path is not clear but then birds of prey have got excellent eyesight and senses so I've edged a little bit closer probably to give me just a tiny bit better chance of getting them you can see if you look at the water hopefully you can the seaweed at the bottom of this channel so although it looks like a freshwater stream it's probably either salty or certainly brackish so that will affect the kind of organisms that live within it so we've got weeds of course um, probably be rushes in other place but generally moisture loving things living along here with the consequent sort of insects so I can see a lot of small flying insects um, which I guess the prey for these dragonflies and I'll try and get them identified but I'm not an expert on dragonflies so give it a few more minutes and see what we can get Right, so I think I'm going to call it a day. So it's the end of this mini vlog. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my attempts at taking dragonflies. I'll put some pictures up regardless of whether they're any good or not. But it was fun to do something different and uh, um, try and remember the rules of composition, which is really hard in a chaotic environment like this. But yeah, uh, a bit of a change from being a landscape, fine art, and documentary photography, uh, which is what I mostly do these days. So. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.